For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, let's uh, find the force in members DC, HI and JI, which will be DC will be this one, HI will be this one, and JI will be that one. They're telling you the sections that they recommend you to cut, so let's just follow the recommendations. And the first one I'm going to do is this cut right here. So I'm going to redraw this diagram at the right. All right, now that we have this little diagram, I put these two forces going up. I assume they're going up, they might be going down. We will find out soon, but I just assume they go up because we have these two forces in the ends going down. So something had to make up for them. Now let's pick H. If you do the sum of the moments at H, assuming counterclockwise is positive, this is equal to zero. So you know the moment that this 1200 pound force is creating is 1200 times 9 is going counter uh, clockwise so it's positive plus this is force DC and this is force HI so DC times the distance from H to D which will be 12 6 plus 6 is 12 right here minus the 1600 pound force which creates a clockwise moment of 1600 times 15 and all of this has to be equal to zero so when you solve for DC this is 1100 pounds and it's positive so it was going up indeed DC and if DC was going up right here it means that it's going down right here and it means that it is in compression now that we have DC, it becomes a very easy problem. Some of the forces on the Y is equal to zero. So you know that minus 1200 plus HI plus DC minus 1600 is equal to zero. So when you solve for HI, you get that HI is equal to 1700 pounds. And it was all, it's also positive, so it was going up, up, down, which means it's also in compression. We got two of the three. Now for the last one, remember we already have this CNHI. All you really uh, have to do is cut it again, but they want you to cut it right here at T, just to find the, just to find this member. We're gonna recut it over here. So let me redraw the diagram. Alright guys, this is the diagram redrawn. 1700 and 1100, I just found them, that's why, and I know they're going up, we already found them. So now we need to find these two forces, but this problem might become obvious for some of you already. You do the sum of the forces in the Y. Let's call this force JI and this force we call it JC. But you're gonna see that the sum of the forces in the y is equal to zero. So minus 1200 minus 1600 plus 1700 plus 1100 plus ji times the angle that whatever that is. You don't really need to find the angle. Let's say this angle is phi. Doesn't really matter. Phi times the sine of phi. I'm sorry, that'll be minus because it's going down minus minus jc sine of phi is equal to zero however when you add all of this together you get that they are zero ji sorry minus ji sine of phi minus jc sine of phi is equal to zero so you know that this two are equal to zero 
and if you do sum of the forces in dx is equal to zero so you know that ji cosine of phi minus ji plus jc cosine of phi is equal to zero the cosines of phi can cancel out so you get that ji is equal to jc they're both equal to the same thing and they both add up to zero therefore ji is equal to jc which is equal to zero they're zero force members so you get that this is a zero force member this is a zero force member and we found these two to be 1700 and 1100 to be in compression so in compression in compression final answer final answer and they're both zero final answer Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.